the dignitaries and diaz professor maya pandit ji and uh, film director writer and uh, cultural kanazar mr b narsingh rao garu mariyu ikkada hajaraina telangana batakammalaki vandanam మరియు ఇక్కడ హాజరైనటువంటి తెలంగాణ బతుకమ్మ నృత్యం చేసిన సోదరీమణులకు వందనం మరియు ఇక్కడ డప్పులతో ఒగ్గు డోళ్లతో వచ్చినటువంటి ప్రజా కళాకారులకి వందనం ఎవ్రీబడి ఈజ్ హ్యావింగ్ రైట్ టు ప్రొటెక్ట్ safe god his culture india is a cultural diversity nation yes not only biharis every region and every state has every right to protect their cultural art forms and communications yes telangana batakamma is also a, a cultural expression they wanted to introduce this wonderful art form to all of you my dear students and they say similarly you have also planned to introduce your people's art and culture not individual one this is a group this is a samuhika art form see in classical art form only one dancer or singer will get name and fame but in bhatakamma dance it is a open to all anybody come and join the circle will enhance and it will it will bigger in the size after adding people those who have the cultural identity and you know that is a open art form that is the biggest wonder in the arts everybody any cast any age they will come and join in the dance you might have witness that there are children and there are women and aged women also they they are performing the dance yes this dance is the as per the bharata in his natya shastra mentioned deshi nritya and it is a lasya nritya it is a soft dance not like the tandavan nritya of other dance forms Sisalasya, a smooth, wonderful, a women-oriented dance. And you know, we don't watch that it belongs to only Telangana, but it has special features. It is international flower festival, festivals are there throughout the world. You know, it is called Kummi in Tamil. Gangaur in Rajasthani and South Indian tribals calls it as a Gondli. You know, in UP, Shahabad, it is called something else and Chota Nagpur people perform it as a Karam festival. But, you know, it has a tremendous aspect to comparative literature, those who are working in the text and performance and culture. and you know their friends we call it batkamma what is meaning of batkamma goddess of life goddess of living that is the greatest word that name itself reveals so many things and you know they in batkamma as per maya pandit say it is a gauri vratamu gauri devi but mahishasura mardani and durga devi that 
icons, symbolism is different from this. And this Bhattamma starts from Mahalaya Amavasya, ends in Maharnavami. Before this Bhattamma, the small girls, they perform Bhattamma dance. Now it is extending, extension. This is, before coming here, I thought this Bhattamma dance is an endangered art form of Telangana women. But I witnessed, when I witnessed here, I felt very happy that it is a surviving and it is going to the universities and institutions. I am very happy. And here I would like to mention one more, one another thing that when I am in the field work, doing field work in Tamil Nadu, I found Bhattamma dance. Those sisters and mothers doesn't know Telugu song. Their mother tongue is Tamil, but they are singing Telugu Bhattamma Patalu. So, so it has no boundaries. This Telangana culture is surrendered and it is part boundaries of Andhra Pradesh. So, my dear friends, Bhattamma is a cultural identity. When this region culture was suppressed by other parts of the dominant parts of the region state, this Bhattamma came as a weapon and it became a slogan for the Telangana people. This is the idea. They wanted to show, they wanted to share with other student community that we have such wonderful women festival. Our mothers and sisters, those who have participated and keeping this tradition alive. And you know, in Bodhamma, they use a small clay of triangular or cow dung. And um, uh, and you know, this Nimajjanam, Bhattamma on ninth day, they will take to the water and submerges in water. So what it does mean in India, the tradition to submerge everything in the Ganga. Ganga means water. So this Bhattamma on ninth day, they submerge in the water. All the ladies, those and they dance, they sing, they perform rituals and lastly they put thousands, lakhs of Bhattamas in the tank or some other watery place. Now the water is scarcity, there is no water in the tanks, so people are putting this in plastic buckets. And you know, you know, all of you know that these flowers are very precious now, nowadays. It is very difficult to get the flowers. So people are using plastic flowers. So this is the situation prevailing in Telangana. And you know, there are wonderful texts. If it is translated in English, many people may know the value of the Bhattamma songs. So I request our friends to bring out a volume on Bhattakamma festival and dance and art form so that anthropologists, folklorists, literates and illiterate literature and oral literatures may come into focus. And you know, the ritual deshi, seasonal food and other parts is also involved in it. So a separate research paper can be included in the book about the deshi food used in the Bhattakamma or similar uh, art forms. And uh, the flowers are sacred. You know, the pumpkin flower is most sacred and it will, uh, the, that should be put on the top of the Bhattakamma because this is the symbolism of entire India and some other parts of the world also. This pumpkin, pumpkin flower is a sacred one. That is the symbol for prosperity and fertility. 
this symbolism should be studied through the flowers, through the arrangement of flowers, the importance of the flower making of the Bhattama. And I would like to share with scholars that the uh, role of uh, commercialization of this uh, uh, in such uh, uh, festivals that can be also studied. And you know, this there is no icon of Bhattama. Till today, we don't have any icon. Okay, Vikram led and the Bhattama ki. Aspu Mudar. And the uh, clay. That's all. This is the Dorama and this is the Bhattama. And that flower, uh, uh, that flower. Uh, 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 import uh, that uh, the, the, the decoration of the flower is the Bhattama. There is no icons like Shishta uh, the, uh, goddesses. This is, she is the village goddesses, rural goddesses, women goddesses. So I would like to uh, compare this film with the flower festivals throughout India or within the state or neighboring states also. So uh, and I request scholars to go through the. Uh, songs and you know just I wanted to give one simple example that this original Bhattagamma uh, uh, song was taken into the uh, struggles of Telangana Poratam, Naizam Vitreka Poratam and uh, this rhythm was sung by many people and th they have put a separate dance name is Chuttakamudu Pata. That became a Chuttakamudu Pata which is participated in the struggle of against Nizam government. Now also the same rhythm has taken wonderful shape and with much vigor it has it stood besides the people of Telangana. So there are so many things to think and as a scholarly uh, world and students I would like to invite uh, uh, um, to study the Bhattama and uh, and lastly I would like to say that this submergence in water is the is also a wonderful point to think why the all the flowers should put in the water submerge in the water because this water gives the same flowers that food and everything to you so that is the nature it is a part of this festival is the part of the uh, nature so thank you very much thank you very much telugu batakammalaki telangana batakammalaki vandanalu vandanalu sir thank you for your elaborated explain about the food which is being given now here this group to perform a dance for a folk song It's a, it's a request to the speakers that we are going to uh, start the cultural uh, programs now. So, uh, please, we shall. Uh, yeah, it will be it, it will be given later, ma'am. Thank you for your coming and uh, spending much time for our celebration, and uh, it has given. Uh, lots of encouragement to the participants.